You said you tan all the time, and one time got sunburned when I visited Ecuador at the tips of my ears. Was kind of excited to finally experience what others spoke about. Oh, you know, that's actually a fallacy. A lot of people who are tan do burn. They have been burning their whole life in small amounts, and they just don't realize it because they don't see it because they're not pale enough for a light burn to show up as red on their skin. That redness is not really seen much because whatever tan, you know, melanin they have going on is kind of covering up the, the shade of red. So they don't really, they don't really see it. Because the burn is just uh, blood rushing to the surface to take care of those damaged cells to start like getting rid of them and, and you know, damage control basically that your body's doing. Um, so no matter how dark you are, you are still burning. Blood is still rushing to the area. Um, you will burn slower. You'll get to that point slower than other people because the melanin physically absorbs the sunlight. That's literally what it's doing. It, it absorbs it rather than your cells getting so damaged, but, but it still happens. And a light sunburn doesn't hurt that much, so you won't, you won't, like, feel it, you know? But, but, yeah, no matter how dark you are, you should still, you should still, uh, be wary of it. You know, because you might be slightly protected. It doesn't mean you're, like, impervious, you know? Did cross-country running for two years and I just cooked. I'm still the same shade no matter what I do. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the person. Literal cellular, cellular death, isn't it? That's what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so your cells get irradiated by the sunlight, which alters genetic material. Basically, it, it sort of denatures a lot of proteins within your cells. Denaturing is when their shape changes. They no longer are the shape they need to be to function. So something is wrong, uh, and that is where mutations come from. Sometimes the proteins will denature in a way that makes them just straight up just not function. So that cell dies, and then it peels off. That's why you get skin peeling, you know, as you uh, get sunburned. It's because those cells just, they just die. They actually trigger their own death. What is that? Is that, is that apoptosis? What was that called? Apoptosis. That's what it was. Apoptosis is the word I was looking for. So it just triggers its own death and dies and it peels off. Uh, sometimes when, when things denature or change or adjust, it happens in a way where the cell becomes cancerous it starts expressing the wrong protein the genetic materials altered a little bit but not enough for it to die it just it just becomes a different cell type uh if i'm putting it in like layman's terms and you you end up having bad cells on you you know um some cells are not really altered like that but they start producing melanin and things or they start producing other things to try and help the situation the whole radiation situation it becomes a problem yeah it's very scary all of this is to say, doesn't matter how dark you are, you still are totally at risk for having skin issues from the sun damaging you. 100%. Because that sunlight can still irradiate a skin cell, no matter, you know, what that skin cell looks like. It can still happen. So be careful. Be careful. Obviously, you're more at risk the paler you are because you don't have melanin protecting your cells from it. But, you know, being darker does not make you impervious. <laughs> I have, I have a friend who, um, she thought it did, like, she, she thought that shit made her impervious and she would go outside with no sunscreen her whole life. And then, you know, she was, she was in her like late twenties and she had a, a couple things removed from her face, like top of her forehead, some stuff from like, like her tops of her shoulders. Cause she had skin cells that were looking concerning and were like on their way toward becoming cancerous at some point if left alone. And she was like, I don't get it. Why would I develop this? And I was like, cause you fucking went outside with no sunscreen and cooked yourself every day <laughs> like it doesn't matter and, you know she's jamaican you know she's and she's quite dark so she was very like <laughs> she was like i don't get it i was like girl you <laughs> you're not invincible you're not <laughs> remember the dermatologist gotta strip you down if they find one yep yep they start inspecting everything because they have to they have to skin cancer is underdiagnosed in darker people it's harder to to find right because if you're super pale and you have a, a, a dark spot show up and it starts spreading you're gonna notice it because it contrasts against you but if you are darker you're like not likely to notice that the same way so if you have uh any spots ever that you think even if they've been there for a while that you think are okay monitor them just monitor them just do it you know it's just not worth it's not worth the uh issues later i know some people that have gotten like moles removed that they've had almost their whole life because they just, they were fine, 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 fine. And then suddenly like got a little larger, just a little larger. Just, just the edges started growing out a little bit, you know, domain expansion kind of thing. And, uh, you know, the, their dermatologists were like, mm -mm, take it off right now, just in case.
you know. So I've thought about that. I'm like, I wonder if that's like a, a good practice or too paranoid. But I assume if a doctor says to do it, uh, probably listen. New guy who had to get skin removed on the left side of his face because that was the side the sun hit when he was driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the windows aren't tinted enough to like totally protect you or anything like that. They do those, they do those pictures where they show truckers and they'll take a picture of like their left arm and their right arm. And they'll show you like the, the difference in the skin on both, right? And one side will be like way, way, way more damaged than the other. And not just skin cancer. Uh, no matter how young you are, you're still susceptible to other kinds of things as well from, from bad habits or just luck of the draw. Luck, but in this case, unluck. It just happens, man. Just keep track of everything. <laughs> cancer gotcha. It really is like that. It really is like that. You think it won't happen to you, and then one day uh, you just notice some little thing, and you're like, that's weird. You mention it to the doctor six months later when you go to your normal checkup, and they're like, oh, let's biopsy it, and it's over. You know what I mean? So if anything ever on or in your body seems off, pretend it's the worst thing ever. You know, like, take it seriously and just make sure it's uh, not. <laughs>